In this video, I'm just going to go over a few of the different adjuncts that you might see in your client circuit. Not every individual will have all of these different pieces, but your client may have one or the other. So we just want to go uh, and give you a quick review of what those are. The first one that you'll notice in this gentleman's circuit is called an HME or heat and moisture exchanger. This is the only form of humidification for the air when the client is not on their bedside circuit using their heated humidifier chamber. So when your client is up and out, out and about in the wheelchair, you will, you'll want to use an HME for humidity. The way that the HME works is that when the client exhales, this little device picks up the humidity from the exhaled gases. On the next breath, the volume comes through the tube, picks up the humidity and delivers it back to the client. These should never be used for clients that have very thick or copious secretions. And these are also disposable. They last for about 24 to 48 hours only and then they need to be exchanged. The next item that you may notice in your client's circuit is a speaking valve or a passimere valve. The passimere valve is a one-way valve that allows all of the air from the ventilator to go through the one-way valve into the client and on exhalation it stops airflow from coming back through to the exhalation valve in the environment. What that means is that the full breath that's in the chest has to be diverted up and out through the nose and mouth. The benefit of doing this is that the client will have the full breath with, with which to speak. So it can greatly ampl amplify the voice and allow a person to complete a full sentence without having to wait for another breath. This little device also helps a client to do something called breath stacking or take multiple breaths in a row, one on top of the other. The benefit of being able to do that is that they get a good stretch of the chest and it also helps when um, an individual is doing a manual cough assist for them to have a full breath beforehand. Contraindications for using this device are using it while the client is sleeping. They may have upper airway obstruction, in which case the gas that's in the, in the chest would not be able to get out through the upper airway. The other contraindication is using a tracheostomy tube that has a cuff on the end of it. If the cuff is there, it will offer resistance to the airflow again coming up, out the, up and out the upper airway. One of the detriments to using a passing mirror valve is that all of the air that's coming in, because it can't come back down, we cannot use an HME to capture the exhaled gases. So in this case, all of the air that goes into the client is very dry. So most clients will complain of dryness of the upper airway when they're using a Passimira valve and won't want it in for the full day. But they'll, your client will let you know if they want you to take it out. So you never want to see an HME in line with a passing mirror valve because it's just an extra piece that doesn't need to be there. Occasionally we have clients that require respiratory medication. So they may require a puffer or they may require a wet nebulized treatment. Other clients choose to nebulize normal sterile saline as well. So I'm going to go through the two different ways of putting this into the circuit. So if your client has a puffer like this, ask them how many puffs they're supposed to have. This puffer goes into this attachment. The attachment has to be on this side of the exhalation valve, so between the client and the exhalation valve. And it is indicated, there is an, an indication arrow, so the arrow should be pointing up towards your client. If I take off this rubber cap, there's a spot for me to insert the stem of the puffer into um, the circuit. And when the breath is delivered, we press down on the puffer to deliver the medication. Okay. So that's how we deliver medication if it's in a puffer form. Some clients will nebulize sterile normal saline or some of their respiratory medications may also come in a wet format. And in order to deliver that, we use an aerosolizer or a nebulizer along with this cup and this attachment. So if I was going to nebulize the saline, I'm going to take the cap off, add the full contents of the 5 mil vial, screw the cap back on, and then I'm going to insert this into the circuit exactly where this piece is, in between the client and the exhalation valve. And 
And the important thing to remember about this is that the cup has to be straight up and down. It doesn't function properly if it's laying on its side. So when you're administering any medication or the saline, make sure that the cup is straight up and down. The entire treatment will take about 10 to 15 minutes and you just let it run until all of the liquid is gone from inside the, the cup.